Lessons number 12. A lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we're going to talk about iCloud. iCloud is a really great way for you to store all your documents and your music and settings into the cloud so that when you change from one computer to another you still have access to all your stuff. Now I really like it because I have a MacBook and I have an iPhone and a, an iPad so whenever I save something let's say I add a new bookmark to my uh, toolbar in Safari when I open it up on my iPad it's there as well or when I open it up on my iPhone it's there as well and it's very easy to find so I really enjoy iCloud so let's get started I'm going to show you real quick it's very easy to do I'm going to open it up and you'll see in this actual this is the window you're in System Preferences <clears throat> in the iCloud button. Let's, let's open it. That's okay. We'll, we'll show you. It's in, um, it's in System Preferences. You guys should know where we are uh, in iCloud. And you'll put in your Apple ID right here and your password right here. And when you're done, you will be in on this screen. So when you come to this screen, you have the option to put your contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, and Safari uh, toolbar into your cloud. And if you do this, then your contacts will, of course, be on all your devices. And let's say one of your de devices gets dropped in water or something like that. It'll still be out there, and when you get the new replacement, you can load iCloud and all your contacts, calendars, reminders, notes, etc. will come back. So that's a really nice feature. The other thing I like is the Find My Mac. So if I go to iCloud.com and I log in with my user ID and password, I will actually get the option to locate my Mac. <clears throat> I can locate my iPad, I can locate my iPod, I can locate my kids iPods. So this is a wonderful feature. It'll actually show it on a map and you can ping it as well. So I really like that. So if I if I do that, you'll see down here I have uh, I allowed all that. I have now got mail, contacts, calendars. So maybe there was something specific I didn't want to put on here. Like maybe I don't want to share my photo stream. I can come in here and uncheck the things that I don't want to have available to me. And uh, down here you can also see how much space you have available left in the cloud. So if I want to add space, I can come in and manage. And I can choose to add additional space to my iCloud account so that I can store all of my music in the iCloud. I can store all of my movies and everything like that. Now the other cool thing is that if you buy things from iTunes, for instance movies or music, they will not take up space in your iCloud storage. Your apps will not take up space in your iCloud storage. Only the things that you have added in addition to those things you bought through iTunes. So these are the different things. You'll notice I got some kids stuff on here. But these are the things that I have available or have stored in iCloud. I can come in here and change my storage plan and add additional things as well. So that is basically iCloud in a nutshell. I can come in and see my account details if I want, which just shows my username and password. And um, I guess I should come over here and show you, I forgot about this, the photo stream options. I can show, I can load my photo stream, but one of the new features in, <coughs> in the <coughs> photos is <coughs> the shared photo streams. <coughs> so if you're sharing a photo stream with other people, you can actually load that onto this computer as well. Um, again, that's, that's basically it with iCloud once you're done uh, and you get out of here, all the things should start to populate. You may not see it immediately, but over the next few minutes you should start seeing things populating in your calendars and in your contacts, etc. So that's basically it. I uh, hope you have a great day.